Hey everyone, welcome back to Explore VLSI. Today I am showing you how to install Vivado 2025 in your system. Directly go to AMD website that is amd.com where you can directly download the Vivado software in your system. Go to products, then software tools and apps. In third column you can see Vivado software, you can click over there. Here you need to click on download now to download the tool into your system. So that installer will be get downloaded. Then clicking on that it will be installing to your system. Click on download now. And here you need to choose the which version of Vivado you require. I am choosing 2025.1. And if you come down it will show you how to install as well. Installer information is there. You can click there. Or you can directly click on the file which you have uh, required. This is a Windows file and below you can see the Linux version as well. I am choosing Windows version for my Windows system. Here you need to uh, log into the AMD uh, site. You need to create your account if you have you if you don't have any account. Then you can use the same credentials here and then it will take you to your profile information. Under that there is a download button available. Then you can find the file here I have downloaded. Just double click on that. First it will extract the installer for FPGAs or SOCs. Then you will get all the required files uh, for an installation. Yes, it is almost done now. You can see AMD Unified Installer, it is popping up. Now you need to allow this file, Open GDK Platform Binary. Uh, here is the installer. Then uh, here you need to just click on next. Then you need to provide your uh, credentials again here. Similarly, as you logged into the AMD, AMD website, the same credentials you need to provide. Then click on download and install now. Uh, if you are installing immediately in your uh, PC, then click next. Then it will ask for to select the product. Click on Vivado. This is this includes the full complement uh, version of Vivado. Then next, select Vivado ML standard here since it is a no cost version or if you want ML enterprise you can go for that. I am selecting the no cost version here since I need free. Then here you need to choose carefully uh, depending on your requirement. See under devices we will be having, you need to select at least one uh, device. There are seven series devices like uh, we will be having Vertex 7, uh, Kintec 7, Arctic 7, Spartan 7. Just I am selecting Arctic 7 here for the demo. If you need any particular device with that if you are working on, you need to choose that. And also some SOC devices, ultra scale, ultra scale plus devices available. So uh, choose correctly here. If you want just for simulation purpose, you can choose any device. If you are working with the hardware, then you need to choose carefully. This is the installation directory. If you want any other directory to be used, then you need to choose that. I am choosing C here. This is the space required for installation. Then here it start the installation. It takes much time, maybe more than half an hour it will take, 45 minutes to one hour also it may take. Just wait for the downloading files to get completed, then it will proceed to the installation, then final processing. Until that no need to click anything here, it will automatically download and install the files. It, is, it will not take like 76 or 80 hours as it is showing. It will just take less than one hour. So now one hour, five minutes it took to download files and then almost installation files are getting completed now. Yeah, final processing is done. Now I am done with my installation. Now I can invoke the tool, I can start using it. This is as simple as that. Now you can go to the directory where you have installed. Then find Xilinx directory in that. If you go inside the Xilinx directory, you can find the version number and inside that Vivado, then bin. And under that, you can find again a Vivado with uh, a bash file it is. If you double click on that, the GUI will open. You can see start GUI. So it will open the tool now. 
you can uh, start creating your project and you can simulate the things see here amd vivado 2025.1 version that is ml version just you can create click on create project and proceed the steps required to create the project so here you can choose your project name and the project location then just click on next now it will ask you what you are doing means the rtl project you are creating or the post synthesis io planning imported project or example project i am selecting the rtl project here so then click on next then it will ask you to add files if it is available means let's say if your design files are available with you in your system you can click on add files or create a file here it is very long so let me give the file name as design1 or if you want you can give any other uh, name as per your requirement then click ok see here it is design.v with this library synthesis and simulation is created then click on next then here again you need to uh, create a file for adding the constraints constraints are optional in your project it is required you can constraint uh, add the constraint like physical or timing constraints then click on next here you need to choose the category and the family of the device what you are using since I am not using any hardware here, directly I am going with next by choosing any uh, default one there. Now it will show you what are all you selected, then finish. Here is your uh, project, project is getting created. So once the project creating is done, it will take you to the uh, project manager window. You can see here, this is the project manager and uh, here it is asking for definition of a module. Directly you can give the module name here just i will give design one as my module name here if you want you can give the port names let me give a port pay a underscore input as my input port and let me give y underscore out as my output port here i need to choose the direction carefully so let me just take two ports in this design click on ok so you can see now design one that is design.v file is created right if you double click on that, it will take you to the editor. Your time scale and all the basic requirements like comments are added. You can write your RTL here. Just I will write assign my output file y underscore out will be equal to not of a. Let me just write a not get here. And you can see if there is any error here it is showing uh, in red line. It means my input is a underscore n input port and I am using just a here. That's why it is showing a error. A is not declared. So I need to correct it here itself. It is auto compilable. It is compiling on its own as you type. So here it is showing green means it is compilation free. Then you can save this. It will get updated. Here you can see updating or some other uh, status of your project. Then I can go with the simulation. So to do the simulation, here you can see the simulation option, directly click on run simulation, run behavioral simulation. This will take you to the simulator and it will do uh, all the compilation steps required. It will do elaboration as well. Then it will take you to the waveform window. Now it is simulating. This is the waveform window. Here I need to provide my input values. See, if you want to pro run through a test bench, here you need to add one more source, click on plus create your design source and click next again create a file here you can add your uh, one more file as a test pinch right here i am just forcing the values i am just right clicking it force a constant let it be binary and let my value be one okay then i am just i need to run it so i need to run for a specified time you can see 10 microseconds is there let me choose uh, nanoseconds is there let me run for 10 nanoseconds you can see now if you click on here it will be zoom fit up to here it is a default value from here onwards i am providing a is equal to one for one i am getting zero this is how you can simulate the things and you can start using the tool explore more and if you want you can add the test bench file here and also directly you can simulate it that will be your top file and this becomes the sub file of that thank you